Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to complete our Francisco de Almeida campaign on hard. Last mission, we pummeled the enemy city and built our own empire in its place in Estado de India, and now we're going to move on to get our revenge with the sun's blood. So make sure to like and subscribe, we're going to do all the campaigns on hard, get all the achievements where we can. There is an achievement for this one, which is friends, countrymen, lend me your ears. Uh, where we need to convert Afonso to Albuquerque without killing a single Portuguese unit. Uh, there's only like the red team basically. As long as you don't kill any of those units, uh, you only convert them, then you will get the achievement. Uh, it's pretty easy really. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee, and let's move on to Francisco V, a son's blood. Let's go. We had taken the other side of the world by storm. As the Zamorin beat his war drums, Ottomans and Egyptians rallied to him. Their ships were carried over the desert and rebuilt by treacherous Venetians. Those treacherous Venetians. In India, an unlikely Russian renegade called Malik Ayaz raised the Muslim armies of Gujarat in defense Guharat. of the Hindu Zamorin. Rome had truly become more powerful. As this coalition of Hindus, Muslims, and Christians descended on us, liars and jackals flocked to the Those darn jackals. Well. They filled his ears with lies that Don Francisco had betrayed Portugal and convinced the young king to dispatch an armada. Classic. Led by They're always like, yo, he's not very kingly. Captain of the Viceroy ship. <laughs> Believe him. Don Francisco, however, was in no mood for politics. At least not the talking kind. Tragedy struck off the coast of Char. In a heroic naval battle, my captain's beloved son Lorenzo was slain by Amir Hussein. Rude. Admiral of the Mamluk fleet of Egypt. Though he deeply loved his son, Dom Francisco did not shed tears for his death. In repayment, my captain vowed to shed blood. The only way to avenge a family lost in war. All right, so before we do the read, I'll just go through the quick strat. Basically, first phase, I suppose, is like converting units. We need to convert 10 units and not kill six of them. We don't want to kill any of them because we want the achievement, obviously. But that's going to be your first phase is just doing that. There is a truce that goes on for, I think it's like 30 minutes. Uh, once that finishes, everything will activate. Uh, it's either when it finishes or if you convert Afonso. So we'll try and hold it off as long as possible. See if we can get some conversions going, get some units, build up a little bit of an army, and uh, just kind of build up our economy so we can we have two legs to stand on instead of getting hacked away at the kneecaps. Second one is going to be knocking out the wonder. D is going to build a wonder as soon as they activate, which is either converting all the true sends. Uh, we want to get rid of that. And then third is basically the attack phase. We just go out and just bomb everything from the shore. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get into it. Convert 10 of Albuquerque's men. Build up your forces in preparation for battle. You are restricted to a poplin of 200. Far too late. We need, we need more population. Come on. Come on, game creators. You cannot advance the Imperial Age or construct docks until you convert Afonso de Albuquerque. While converting the Portuguese, do not neglect your economy. The temporary truce will end once you convert Albuquerque or when the timer runs out. That's what I'm talking about. Watch out for that timer. Destroy the Mamluk Fatorias. Uh, should be a priority. They are their primary source of income. The Kathiawa Peninsula to the west has rich gold deposits. Killing enemy leaders will weaken their respective factions, causing them to train fewer units at a slower rate. Uh, it's going to be these enemy leaders. They, they'll be like three orange units. Knock them out, and then where, whichever building they're in front of, that faction will uh, be weakened. Francisco de Almeida has camped northwest of India. Afonso de Albuquerque has landed with men whose loyalties are easily swayed. Care should be taken to not inflict heavy losses on Portuguese, who will be needed for the coming battles. Diu, an island to the south, will be the focus of the coming battle. Governed by Malik Ayaz, a Russian converted to Islam, Diu sends elephants, mounted units, monks, chakra throwers, and warships into battle. Venetian engineers have aided Malik Ayaz by constructing bombard towers in his city. Very rude if you ask me. DU is also supported by the Ottomans. These Janissaries, cannons, and cavalry have camped across the river from the Portuguese position. They've also got a little base, like just above uh, the red base, basically. In the north, Amir Hussein al Kurdi commands the Egyptian Mamluks. The Mamluk army has, funnily enough, Mamluks 
uh, cavalry archers, siege engines, supported by a detachment of Venetian condottieri. The Venetians provide the Mamluks with resources via their trade embassies. Destroying these Fatorias will cripple the Mamluks. And finally, the Guharati traders, which is how we said it in the intro, that's what we're going with, have markets in the gold-rich Western Peninsula. Picking sides is unprofitable for these savvy merchants who are eager to trade with the Portuguese. Okay. Deep breath. Okay, let's go. We'll be fine. I'm confident. First thing we need to do is build a town center. Do that and then build that, please. And we're going to get these gold miners off and do stone. Just some quick little scout going up here. Put everyone on no attack stance. Let's get some monks out. Do not, please don't. Alright, so Alfonso Zamata has changed diplomatic stance to neutral. If they change the enemy, then you're in trouble because that means that one of their units has been killed by yours. So basically, uh, as you see, we've got 23. 24 minutes basically to until the truce ends and the truce is basically going to be is this my wood going yeah my wood's going why is my wood going up i have no wood cutters like we have a sneaky fatoria somewhere maybe or maybe while the truce is on it's like give it, feeding me resources that's all i could probably think honestly um so basically the what was I saying? So when the timer runs out, that's when they activate. We have essentially 23 minutes to build up. Uh, we need to convert 10 units, and then we can convert Afonso to Albuquerque. So we'll, um, for the moment, we'll just focus on getting wood, get some buildings up, get some houses going, get some farms going, all that kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully we can get two town centers. That should be enough, honestly, for this just initial part. Might build another one later. And you do get one later as well. But we want a couple of monks just to kind of... You know, so we can keep A, so we can keep ourselves healed. Don't know where he was going. He decided, nope, want to go back to the church. Uh, and yeah, that's really it, honestly. Just kind of build up your economy. Just make sure you got villagers pumping out. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy, if you ask me. Now, we've almost got enough for a town center. We have enough uh, stone for it. Just need some wood. And because I remembered it's here. We're going to get rid of this quickly. This little tiger that's hiding there. Just so I don't have to deal with that later, you know? Now right, let's start sending our units over. So, basically, um... Yeah, just convert units. I know that sounds really... Like, really, yeah. That's actually, that's actually the strat. Just convert units and don't kill any. Put them on no attack stance when you convert them. And, uh, they can... They can heal each other. Especially if you've got six of them, that's a lot. Nice, I like how he got attacked and then he converted. And this is why we want a couple of extra ones, because they're going to come up and be like, Yo, what's happening? Alright, cool, he's uh, he's freaking out. Which I'm, I'm all for, means he's not attacking me. Alright, cool. We'll just bring our troops over as they kind of build up. I didn't hear the shh half for a while. We're going to get some more villages pumping out. Town centre. So you want it there. You want that little space in the top of the mine there. Uh, because, if you're like me, you like uh, perfectly placed farms. One, two, and then three. If you build it one more space down, you can't get the perfect pinwheel. And that's really like the only reason we play this game. So we'll get that going. And I'll probably get some more on... Um, you get some more food, actually. Actually, you do that, and then we're going to build a mill over here. Oh, no, build that, please. Build just here. Let's get rid of this these bushes, and then we'll go for that mill as well. All right, we have regen faith. Let's go. All right, we'll just start sending people down onto gold, I think. Restock our monks if we need. Oh, watch out, that monk's gonna get shot. Oh, run away, run away. Oh, thank goodness, okay, get him. Yep, and then this boy here. Now, we've converted everyone here. Uh, like a couple of years. We have uh, three more soldiers to convert. You can convert as many as you want as well. You don't have to, um... 
After that, you start doing that. We'll get some villagers out to start doing stone mining for it. Actually, we should probably get more farms out. Let's get farms out around this farm, and then we'll start doing stone mining, I think. Uh, so we can convert. You can convert as many units as you want, basically. Um, the reason you... Right, with... All right, run away, Mr. Conquistador. You start healing, you start converting. I like how he's running away and then... He lost two monks. Don't know what I can really do there. Let's get these farms out. That's a terribly placed farm. I should feel sad and ashamed. Beautiful. Just to get that uh, food income coming out. Alright, cool. Is your elephant? They kill both the elephants. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe it's like behind here and I just can't see it. I don't know. Um, three. Look, as much as I'd love to be really confident. Actually, maybe we just research sanctity. It should be right. No, I'll get another monk. I'll get some more monks out. Got two more. All right, keep villagers going out. Villagers stop pumping, then are you really working? No? I reckon they killed both elephants. I didn't see the other one here. I reckon it's like either there's two of them there, but it's only showing the one. I reckon there's two elephants here. So it's got three of. Uh, I don't know then. It's done something. It's done something. I don't need elephants, I suppose. And we've got that last monk coming out. I have no idea. 13 minutes. As long as we convert a couple more units, we'll be okay. Uh, group one. Uh, there, as you see, there's a green base here as well. They won't actually attack you until they get activated. So you are f you have free reign to just kind of walk down here and just walk past them. There are some sheep. Uh, if we walk here, you see a bombard cannon. So we're going to build a castle here to deal with that bombard cannon and all the stuff. You deal with that one. Can you just okay? Oh, we're Oh, run away. To seal my command nice. God's grace. Excellent. Okay. So that's a good, that's a prompt. Uh, basically, you convert Albuquerque down here, and then that's how you either, either end the truce or activate everyone. Yeah, no, they killed both elephants. All right, cool. Whatever. It is what it is. Can't really do much about it. You know, they've already been already eaten. And then there are some sheep here, so we can try and see if we can sneak them. Um, just kind of bring them over here towards these Janissaries. And we'll send them here, and then bring them up to these sheep areas up here. Just kind of follow them, just so they don't lose. I mean, I think you get them anyway, but I'd rather not risk it, you know. Uh, also not making villages, so I should feel very bad right now. Having said, we just made 10, I think, in, you know, made 10 without needing to worry about food, so good on me, I guess. Let's get Sanctity just to make our monks a little bit tankier, and we'll also get further because we'll probably use it, you know. Alright, we'll start getting this uh, stone mine kind of going. As you see, our wood eco, very nice right now. I'm actually going to sell a little bit of wood so I can get the wood cutting upgrade. Out. Which will be nice. And yeah, basically for the next 10 minutes, we're just going to focus on getting our eco kind of up and running. I also want to build walls here. I might actually do that. Remember? Oh, let's uh, get a house up first. 
Let's get some more houses up here. Now I'm on Now I can start actually thinking about moving that's fun. Get wood cutting over here. We'll get rid of this one. And all these ones. And I'll build a I'll build a university quickly and then I'll get this going. Get that food eco really going. Just to really um Oh, no, delete that one. We don't need that wall. Murder holes, ballistics. Probably treadmill crane actually would be nice. Just so I can get some extra, you know, healing and uh, healing building going. And how you heal the. Nice little farm, just circle there, beautiful. I suppose we'll just kind of bring him down here and he can start mining. Just so we can get this, uh, A, so we can get some castles up, and B, worst case, we can sell the things. I did get, I did get heavy plow, excellent, good. And basically just leave your troops here, and they'll, um, they can do everything you need them to. Alright, then we can get this castle up now. Build a couple of stables too, why not? Uh, let's get handcart just while I'm waiting. Yeah, this food eco is not very good, is it? No, you come up here. Just focus on these ones down here for now. Oh, righty. Red mill crane. Still off a bit. That. Let's get this. Uh, four. Yep. Good. Uh, since we're doing that, we'll start getting some archers and bringing them down here. Where's my... Oh, so it's got a halberdier in it. Oh, I'll just pop that out for now. Uh, no, don't want that, don't want that. There, archers. That's what I wanted. Put these in the castle. Come in there. And our archers all in here too. T put them in there. And we'll just fill we'll just fill that up and that's gonna do most of our work for us. Uh in terms of like the Ottoman front there. Because once they turn on us, uh, if you knock out that bombard cannon, they can't really do much against this castle. With all the stuff in it. Now oh, you come up here. Yep, all right. Cool. Yeah, no, we're, we're doing pretty well. Got three minutes left. Let's get our arrow upgrade as well. Very handy to have. Uh, let's get a couple more villages out. Probably just on wood cutting, honestly. Let's get a... I'm going to build this quickly. We'll get some more villages out on wood cutting. Let's really pump up that uh, the wood cutting eco, you know? Once we hit about like a minute, maybe less than a minute, that's when we'll go in and convert Albuquerque. Because that way it's giving us as much time as possible. Send, we'll send some out, we'll get some gold miners, I think. If you want, you can start building some cavalry as well, but it's not like super important. I'd rather actually wait until I can get to Imperial. Get husbandry while we're while we're waiting, you know. But we'll basically the army's going to be bombard. Well, after we 
deal use the navy for to its greatest potential. Uh, we will probably just move on to like bombards, cavalry, oh, nah. organ guns. I never really get to use organ guns. Never did use them, but I suppose See, I could give it a shot. I'm gonna send two villages up here, I think. Yeah, because you can build seven farms around this mill in perfect pinwheel. 42 seconds left. All right, I think it's time to go. Let's go. Now there is a tower here. It's gonna shoot you. Um, just deal with it. You know, is what it is. Honestly, if you want, you could just do this. Just have your monk constantly be getting healed. He does do big damage here, but three monks should do. Nice, he missed. Nice, we got him. There we go. All right. This is once. Come on. There we go. Get rid of that, please. All right, cool. We're done. That's it. That's it. It's not even a problem. We're gonna make villages, and we're actually just gonna go right to Imperial because we have the stocked up resources for it. And that is a lovely sound. Can you come down here? Can you build? Actually, you know what? No. Uh, shift. Yep. We're gonna build a town center here. And then you can eat sheep, I guess. All right, these villages. Let's get some docks out. I'm gonna start getting some fire ships out. Let's go. Cannon galleons. Let's go. We'll get rid of that. That, please. Thank you. And yeah, as I said, it is just—it's so handy. Because if you don't do that, and we did build walls, excellent. Not everyone here needs to start doing that, I guess. We do have a couple of little troops in here as well. Get rid of this tower, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll build just a couple of these here, I reckon. Alright, uh, one of you... Um, you all come... Let's just do down here, I guess. Except for one, you do that. I'll do that and we'll actually build button R. Get a couple of siege stuff going. We'll get Karak as well just to make our ships a little bit tougher. A lot of gold because we just went right to Imperial, but trust me when I say you want to do that. Oh, that's a terrible farm. I need to feel bad. That's how I learned to place proper farms a little better, but then I never do it, you know. All right, nice. That means then we can make a... Uh, we have... A, the funny thing is you actually have chemistry right away. All right, let's go. Uh, attack move this way. Cannon galleons. There is a bombard tower like here-ish, but you can circumvent and just go right for the, the things here. Let's, um... I don't want to kind of get dried off, I'll be honest with you. No, no, get rid of that first, thank you. Get rid of that, please. Fire ships can deal with the ships. These ones can deal with that. Nice. All right, so there we go. Nice. Let's get our cannon galleons out of here. I do not want them to get that. All right, let's go group one down here. We'll just send another navy just up there just to defend our ones. Oh, no, run away, run away. Let's just get out of here. I'm not even going to deal with this right now. Goodness gracious. All right, let's get out. Uh, I actually forgot we had a bombard tower here, so. All right. Uh, oh, we're getting assaulted over here. Lovely. Okay, let's, um... Actually bring just some 
Skip's out here, don't it? Q bombard cannon, Q bombard cannon galleon using. All right, let's just do that then. Oh my goodness, my villagers are not doing anything. Why? More villagers out. Uh, you start doing that. Start cutting trees. Cutting trees. That, please. As long as we get rid of that, we should be okay. Please, thank you. Well, they got my siege workshops. I was hoping at least I would, you know, survive a little bit longer. Here's what it is. I'm not going to sit there and worry about it, though. Put them on tax and bring them down here. Okay. We need to. I actually just realised we have a lot of uh, stuff here. All right, inscription. We should probably get archivist at some point as well. And the reason we're here is we're going to see if we can knock out the you know, quickly and get some just cannons off on that elephant. extra damage, you know. Just because apparently, uh, Shravamsha Riders, if you want to hear something funny, apparently they, um, their little archer, you know, thing that they dodge or whatever, uh, works for cannonballs. Did not know that. So it's just like... It's, it's just so weird. Group 1. All right, let's start getting some uh, cannon galleons out. No, I cannot. Never mind. I have very high population apparently. Um, let's just start getting uh, stuff going. I suppose we did get these all these units as well. But for the most part, this is what we'll do. We'll do this. We'll knock out these buildings here and there. Cause there's no sh there are ships there. Run away for just for a quick second. We'll just start, we'll just get rid of this tower, honestly. Archibus. I'll leave a couple of stuff here, some things here as well. Like cannon galleon, almost there we go. No, oh five. I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was three twenty-five, but normal. It is what it is. I'll just get rid of this, honestly, and we'll just put it on stop, and then it will do its own thing. Nice. All right. Let's get rid of these docks. Pretty much you just want to hit them from the sea. Our main thing is going to be a navy, basically. Get a couple galleons out. Or not. We do have a lot of food. We probably don't need nearly as many on food as I have, you know? We have like three town centers worth of stuff. Get keep. Why not? If I make towers, don't have to worry about them. I don't actually know if I'm going to use that. Oh, let's get our troops out of here, please. Thank you. Group one. Group these, please. Thank you. And our cannon galleon should be able to hit this castle. Nice. And once we knock out this castle, we'll drop our troops, get rid of this boy. Oh, hang on. No, he's... I thought he was going to... Just that'll stop purple being such a big threat, you know. Well, I wanted to build... Cavalry units. But as you see, these archers are just. Oh boy, it's such a good thing to see. Look at that, he's trying to use cover. Rude. 
Get him. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. I have units here now, I suppose. Let's go. Let's get um. Let's get some cavalry upgrades. Oh, that's nice infantry. Because I do have, you know, I have a couple of cavalry. Okay, so that's purple. Just got random units there. Looks like they're gonna send them out. Which means I can start knocking all this stuff out. It looks like maybe even that uh, market there. I'm gonna bring them across even, which I love. I'm just going to drop troops here. Alright, we're going to get these transport ships out of here. So where is... Where is that orange boy? Where is he? Get rid of this person, please. Thank you. Alright, everyone. Let's go. Uh, we do have a bombard cannon. Yes, we do. Start knocking out stuff here. There he is. He's trying to run away. Uh, can you deal that, please? Thank you. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, we'll get rid of this guy. That's going to make purple make less units and uh, a little bit slower. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of this archer if we can. Let's just run up, please, Mr. Cavalier. Thank you. Oh no! Start knocking out units, you know. Let me get him. No, I want him. Mad. Just bring him into the castle. Just bring him into the castle. Let the castle do the work for us. Oh my lord! I'm <laughs> just chasing them into their area. Oh, there goes my cannon, but that's alright. I don't need it. I just want to knock out their military buildings, honestly. Well, I could, pro I could probably... God, that's all I need is to lose these ships here. Thank you. Got rid of that monk. Thank you, transport ships, for being a distraction. Oh yeah, I have a navy here. Group one, let's go. Group two, let's go. We're just going to start assaulting from the sea now. Oh no! Uh, can I build a fatal warrior? Yep, let's get a fatal warrior. We camp there right afterwards. I'll just give us a trickle anyway. No. This tower. We can actually probably get rid of purple pretty early on. We kind of be smart about it. Like getting elite cannon galleon would be very handy to have, you know. I will just send them up here for now. Just leave all these peeps here for now. Get rid of these towers. Right, we have one. Nice. You see that excellent, perfect micro there? Hitting the side units. Alrighty. Um, do we need cannon? I do need cannons. We'll get, um... Actually, let's just make 30. Some bombards. We got our archers in here as well. Group two. Look at this. Eight cannon galleons. Uh, they won't know what hit them. As long as we keep our um our docks kind of producing when we need them to, so we'll make them group four. Bring them the navy up here for now. Let's get a leak caravel, and I'll start making some caravels. Have a attack move this way. Just hit him from the short line here. Start just kind of bringing our troops up here now. 
We'll start with bombarding green from the coast now. Get rid of that bombard can please. It's gonna do a lot of damage to us. Get rid of this now, thank you. Nice. They got a lot of bombard cannons there. Oh boy, the Ottomans. Ottomans and their gunpowder. Nice. Um, oh no. What happened? That should knock that guy out. Excellent. Towers out. Oh, we'll just start knocking out their docks and all their military buildings when I need to. Group one, let's go. Just bring him here for now. Okay, here we go. This is where it gets fun. Like have spam. Keep the docks producing. Get some galleons out. I'll make some fire ships just in case I'll start losing some. Up to about here-ish now. Can I hit that with my bombard? Yep. I do have Arcus, I'm pretty sure, so. Nice, there he goes. Nice. Let's get moving up. There's a siege workshop there. Get rid of it. Beautiful. And that's the uh, enemy there, the Turkish Pasha. Group one. Get rid of this gate while we're here. Why not? Ah, here we are, the Navy. The, Vene the rebuilt Mamluk Navy. Because of those darn Venetians. Oi! Little cab archers. We'll get rid of all their stuff here. As you see, we're just gonna raid the coastline essentially. Oh no. Um ling a ling a ling. No, yeah, we'll hit them with things, I guess. Um, I do have I do have cav archers. Uh cavalry, sorry. Let's just send them out. Nice, they're stuck here, it looks like. Oh, okay, that was useless then. Let's keep focusing on our troops here. Oh, uh, maybe get rid of that, please. We get rid of these Fatoras, I won't build nearly as many units, you know? Nice. I actually forget I have this giant navy. Portuguese navy, am I right? So fun. Can you, like... <laughs> I love the cavalry so much, because they just kind of just sit there and they're like, yeah, that's happening. Alright, we'll get rid of these Janissaries at the very least. Just gotta let your yeah, cannons take care of their Fatorias and their Towers, that's the only problem. Just deal with whoever, honestly. Whoever's in the way, get rid of them. Look at these, look at them building a trebuchet. How cute is that? Right. See that cavalry? Oh, useless. Yeah. Well, I suppose that makes sense into why I had no people. Um, Harrison out. Let's just get some more Fatorias out. How about that? How about we just do this? Good one, at least. Uh, let's just rebuild and then you come and cut wood, I guess. Nice, nice. Where's our cannons? Oh, we can actually knock out this, I think, from the shore. Bottom. I think we have enough ships, honestly. Like, we've taken out their navy. Essentially, their whole navy. I think it's going to be a big problem, you know. Nice, got rid of those two. Now, here's why you want to come down this way. There is a little gate going into here. Uh, you can actually hit the enemy from there. 
and actually knock him out like it's not even a, it won't become a problem. Uh, we'll bring him back to the thing. I'm getting rid of this stable because it's actually detrimental. I'm gonna get rid of this ram because it's extra space, you know. Oh no, the villagers. I just don't know why I even built all these, honestly. Probably five there. That'll just be, you know, just a little bit extra food income. Yeah. Alright, in terms of navy, let's. Oh. Damn, that cannonball was expertly just done there. Oh my goodness. Alright, so now all we need to do is just let our navy kind of do its thing. Ah, uh, what's follow? Follow. It's that one, I guess. Alright, this will be purple done for. Purple won't be able to stop this now. We're just too strong. Too strong on the water. Speaking of strong water, let's just get a couple more calves out. We'll probably send all our archers out once we kind of can start focusing on it. Nice. But the cool thing is they only have one town center left, I'm pretty sure. So if we knock this out, that should be them taken care of. This is my fleet up, but I don't think I really need to. It's kind of like... Honestly, if I wanted to, I might bring my fleet up here. So I don't think I need protection up here. I don't think they have another dock. And I don't think they've rebuilt docks. Let's just get rid of this town. No, we'll get rid of the key first. I don't trust it. Alrighty. Look at this fleet. Oh my goodness. No wonder they're a super oh. At least in like medieval times, I suppose. Now, I don't know if there was a rogue cannonball there. See, that stable's got. Yeah, no, they're deleting. Alright, cool. Let's go. There's a bombard cannon up here, I think, shooting us. Probably get rid of that. Stop bringing our uh, other fleet up. We can just knock out these towers and stuff. Dee has resigned. And then we need to beat one more. Get rid of that. Navy's just really nice. I just really like the Navy. Okay. It's the Navy. Alright, we can, uh, I think we should start the assault now, honestly, with our other teams. Send this group up. Uh, we'll actually bring our archers out as well. They can be part of group one. Put them on no attack stance so they don't just start randomly hitting things. Just gonna bring them up here for now. Cannon galleons, get rid of that, and then get rid of this, please. Nice, look at these archers just do their job. There goes that tower. <laughs> My goodness. Let's kind of run away. Just let the bombards kind of start getting the castle. We can actually hit a lot of their stuff. From, I didn't actually realize you can hit them from the shore here. Right, let's get rid of these towers, honestly. Uh, can we, like, maybe protect our units here, please? Run away. Just get rid of these. Thank you. I came close to the shoreline. Hopefully our ships can help. Thank you. Now, there's got to be a town center here, surely. There it is. But you could hide from me, buddy. I'm going to send the troops in. I'm going to get rid of this boy. Get rid of this orange boy here. 
Being attacked by enemy leaders. I think there's another castle somewhere. Alright, we got rid of that guy. Wishes for more of his pashas to die. He will send them to me. He will send them to me. They must have a castle somewhere. They have a janissary, so they must have a castle somewhere. Or that's just a random building. Look at that. There it is. Well, this is just, you know, I'm just going to start doing this. Let's just send them up. Send the cabs up. Got rid of that janissary, which is all I really kind of wanted there. And that should be it. Unless there's a town center up here, obviously. If I get rid of that, that should be... Oh, no. That was probably just... There aren't random deletions happening, so I'm not super confident, you know? Oh, if I lose my cannons here and no, I haven't knocked them out, it does, does, I don't think I have. We're walking this way, there must be a town center up there. Alright, let's, um... More calves out. Look at that food income. Oh my goodness, we have so much food. A couple of them out. Uh, wooden food. I suppose that's barracks. Get some, um... Let's just get some pikemen, I guess, because they got a lot of horses. We're going to lose them. Cool. I think they have a... It will be okay here. Let's see what happens, eh? I'm going to make the, uh... The rally point up there, actually. Ah, oh, they're here. They're trying to get through. If we knock out that town center, that might be it then. Oh, okay, those mad blokes were like, yeah, all right, we don't care anymore. I wonder if that'll be it. If that's it, that'll be... I'd laugh a little bit, you know. It'd have to be. As you see, they're not making nearly as many units as well, because they have, like, one stable, I think. Alright, uh, that should be it, right? That sounded like an explosion somewhere. Leave that one alone. See, I don't think I got this what this far. Yeah, she died. Yep, alright, cool. Alrighty, 47 minutes. Damn, I was expecting that to be a little bit longer. Alrighty. And we'll just kind of quicken, we'll just make this a little quicker, you know, just kind of get the, uh... Just quicken the pace here, come on, I got, I got other things to do, game, come on. There we go, Ottoman's resigned. Uh, it is time for me to return home. It's time for us to return. Luckily, it's not to feed all three. It wouldn't really take me that much, but because I'd probably have to knock out like what, a castle maybe for the Mamluks. Age of Discovery, complete the Francisco de Almeida campaign. Did we? Did I kill you by accident? Hmm. All right, then. His son's death avenged. Maybe I, did I knock out a unit? I don't remember knocking out a unit. Surrendered the viceroy ship of up? India and wrote his final chapter. He would not return to his beloved Portugal. Oh. Landing in southern Africa to collect water, his party was ambushed by the Khoikhoi natives who found his body on that forsaken white beach. In the five years since we departed Lisbon, five we years, really? Damn. To the edge of the earth, we fought ebony-skinned warriors jungles and savannas of Africa, battle Mamluk sailors on the decks of galleys heaving in the monsoon waves. It was quite an adventure, let's just say that. Of elephants and camels in the sprawling cities of India. Our caravels had taken us to the distant shores unknown to our ancestors and awoken Europe to a world beyond our dreams. 
A world of dreams and adventures await. Let's go. Alright, what are we thinking on the kill KD? Let's say 800. I suppose I did knock out a lot of buildings. It wasn't really a lot of units. Like, I don't know, a lot of ships though. I don't know. Um, yeah, alright, let's have a quick look at the map so you can see the what's here. This is DU. Um, as I said, you can literally just break through this gate and knock out DU pretty early. But once you kind of knock out this guy, they, they don't become a big problem. Um, but there's all that. There's gold up here if you want. There's gold over here as well if you want. Um, it's up here. Gold. There's some relic here as well if you want some relics. Relic there. Uh, where's the. There's a castle up here. Yeah, so they don't have any, uh, don't have any economy. So if you knock out that castle, I think that's it, honestly. I mean, Mamluks probably would have been easier to take out instead of the Ottomans. Uh, it's just landing here and getting rid of this, honestly, because that castle's right at the back. But if you have your, if you have your transport ships, like I deleted them, but if you have your transport ships still, you could get some bombards, drop them on the shore here, bombard the castle from here. I suppose that would work out. Look at this navy, though. 42 ships still at the end. What I like to see. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. Did I get that achievement? I'm gonna I'm just gonna check Steam. Uh, achievements. Let's just block this, so. Friends countrymen, let me your ears. Um, I don't know. Can I make it so it shows the screen? Hang on, let me just add a display capture. Do I have that already set up? Yeah. Uh, there, just on the friend's countryman, let me use. So, that's a little weird, but okay. Um, alright then. Then I suppose that's just, uh, we can just delete that now. So, so yeah, oh well. Um, it didn't pop, at least I didn't think it popped. Maybe I was focusing and I didn't hear it. Um, but yeah, Francisco de Almeida, completed, gold medaled. And uh, after that, we've got the Yoda campaign, which is going to be a uh, Ethiopian one. And that should finish off the African kingdoms. And then after that, I think we we'll try some historical battles. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I feel like, honestly. So until then, have an awesome one all. Uh, make sure, let me know down below as well if this helped. And I'll see you in the next video.